Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about multi-window functionalities and multitasking on our Galaxy S line of devices. If you've ever tried this in the past and you try to open up an unsupported application in the multi-window, you'll get that little message and it'll say basically that it's not compatible. An example would be basically Instagram. It doesn't allow you to open it up in multi-window. Well, today I'm gonna to walk you through a process of all the basic and advanced features within multi-window as well as pop-up window on your Galaxy S line of devices. And we're going to make Instagram open up in a multi-window. So let's not waste any time. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and bell icon to be notified whenever new videos get pushed out and let's get into it. I have all three devices, the S10 Plus, the S10, and the S10e. Now, on the S10 Plus and the S10e, I have basically just normal, you know, multitasking, all the stuff that you normally see on your device. There's nothing special about them right now. We'll get into the advanced versions in a second. So, normally on your device, if you want to get into multi-window or pop-up window, you need to find an application to support it. So, let's go ahead and click Instagram. You notice right there, Instagram gives me basically almost no options. I either can go into the app info, change aspect ratio, or lock, uh, you know, lock this app. I don't wanna do this. I wanna be able to get this application into multi-window. Uh, same thing with the Google Play. You'll notice we'll have more options because this is supported. So I can do either pop-up view, which is pretty much just the ability of going in and opening up in this kind of view. I can minimize it to make it into a little icon similar to the actual logo for the icon for itself. I can make it into the full screen. And of course I can go home. Those are the normal pop-up window functionalities. Uh, of course, what I, if I want to, I can also do a split screen, pops it up to the top and then I can open up another application. Uh, these are functions that you normally expect, but again, not all applications are supported. I cannot do this with Instagram. Uh, the other thing that Samsung also does include for us is the ability of switching the application. So you can actually change the orientation um, as well as actually do a focus window. So if I click this, I can actually focus on exactly what I want. So I just wanted to show the lock star and the quick star. I'll say done, pops it up to the top, gives me that window and then gives the rest of the window uh, real estate directly for the other application. Very nice, very functional. And then we can no longer resize it at this point. And of course I can add it as a shortcut directly. So added pair to home screen, which means, uh, and I'll go ahead and close this from now on. Next time I wanna be able to open up those two applications, I can just open them up by just clicking that little logo. I can make these customizations and make sure so you just put them on the side. So if let's say you wanna be able to do mapping and music at the same time, open them up, save them and put them on your home screen and it'll work very nice. Again, all of these things, very nice, very nice, and very basic. This is all the built-in stuff directly on your device right now. What I wanna show you guys is what we have here on the S10 Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Recents app and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Instagram. Instagram here allows me to not only open it up in uh, sh uh, basically shape the window, change aspect ratio, and open up in split view because I actually now have the functionality turned on. And I can go ahead and open it up and I'll open it up with the Google Play Store. Very nice, very customizable, and very, very useful. I can still do the switching and I can switch again touch it and of course I can do that little focus window I can let's say I just want to focus on the window here and it'll just resize and it works perfectly and it just goes home you can bring it back and then close the applications how I did this was by using a new module that's built into good luck and this one's called multi-star now one thing you want to be aware of multi-star and task changer do not work together so if you have task changer turned on an example would be here so task changer I have it disabled right now and of course it can customize the way our task changing options are uh, it does not allow us to basically open up anything in multi-window so i can go in here open up in pop-up view but no more multi-window you notice how it changed that functionality so if you're using this and you like this just be aware that unfortunately these two modules right now are not compatible with each other but if you want one over the other just go ahead and disable uh, task changer and multi-star will start working for you going into multi-star for the functionalities that we get added out of the box, we don't have the ability of changing the color. So I can go in here, I can change the color of the actual bar in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to green and we used to be blue. So we'll go ahead and swipe up. And let's say I wanna open up Google Play Store. I'll go ahead and hit split view. You notice that's the green bar. That's the color I just customized. And of course, I'll go ahead and open it up with Instagram. And it does say that not all applications will work correctly. And I'm gonna say that I've seen this with different games where I've tried to resize them and it does actually crash. So we'll go ahead and get close and of course just go home. The next option is to use multi-window without pausing and that's the ability of using two apps playing video at the same time. If you want this, this is something that if you've tried it in the past, it won't work. One video stream takes over the other and we're, we basically have to enable this feature for this to work. 
And then of course, the next one that I think a lot of us will really like is the ability of turning on multi-window to every single application, which means even unsupported ones will give you the option of going into it. They may not work correctly, but they definitely will actually pop into the multi-window functionality. And of course, pop-up view action is on, which means is the ability of resizing the screen and bringing it into a much smaller window. So let's try it right here. As you can see, I'm able to basically shrink it and use it. It does take a little bit of practice because it, it triggers right around the same point as your notification panel, so it doesn't always work, but it does actually at the end of the day work fine. Uh, you just have to turn it on and try to use it. And it just resizes any window that you have open into a small, more manageable window. Let's try to do two video apps at the same time. First thing we're gonna do is we'll open up Netflix, and then the second one I'm gonna open up is YouTube. So let's go ahead and go home, open up multi-window. I'm gonna open up Netflix. Again, Netflix is supported. And the next one I'm gonna open up is YouTube. Two of them are video-based applications. Now I am going to uh, unfortunately stop the audio mostly for copyright issues, and I'm gonna do a very small clip, but let's go ahead and start a video here. Here's a video of mine uh, directly on YouTube. The ad is running. Now, you notice right there, out of the box, this directly turned off my video. The video is playing here, you can see the movement. I'm gonna go ahead and just start my video. And right there, just a little bit of audio. Again, both videos running at the same time. Um, and that's really one of the main functionalities, of course. Uh, I can go ahead and close it. You can switch over, get it set up correctly. And of course, you still have the ability of doing pop-up window directly for Netflix, because this is one of the supported applications directly within the normal OS pop-up options. We have the ability of locking the application. Of course, pinning is always turned on, but you do need to go into the security tab directly within your device and turn on pin the application. Otherwise, it will not pin. But the ability of just basically open it up and split window just really just saves time immensely specifically for Instagram, because for me, let's just go ahead and do it this way. I wanna open up basically Twitter and Instagram at the same time. To me, those are two social media applications that I like to have at the same time, and I'd like to be able to see them and use them at the same time, because I think these are things that we can multitask with. Um, and now with this functionality, it just works great. I'm able to not only focus on what I want, I'll go ahead and open it up, and I'll focus directly on this little feed, and I'm able to still focus on Instagram and Twitter at the same time, check out my notifications, refresh, go home, Again, you can resize it and go back to what you had before, scroll through, and then make sure you do, you know, obviously like your different videos and different comments. So here's a nice little video there. And here we go. All of the stuff, everything you want to do directly within one application. And now with advanced settings using Multistar. Goodlock offers us a lot of functionalities and customizations directly within our Galaxy S line of devices. If you haven't checked it out before, I'll give you guys a link to that video in the description below. But today we focus on Taskstar. Taskstar, for the most part, just enables us to make every application compatible with multi-window, lets us customize the color of the multi-window bar in the middle, as well as the ability of making sure that two different applications can actually run at the same time streaming, meaning two live video feeds on the display at the same time, and you can hear the audio from both of them. Uh, last but not least, of course, the ability of resizing anything by just dragging it down and making it into a small pop-up window, you know, minimizing it, leaving it as a little chat head window, or even just turning it off. And saving your favorite combo of things is always going to be functional. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this one. And the last thing I want to mention to you guys is that Task Switcher and Multistar, unfortunately, having are having a little bit of a compatibility issue. So you won't be able to run Task Switcher at the same time with all of these functionalities. But if you do, just make sure that one of them is turned off. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support and share this with any of your friends that may have just gotten their S10 device and would definitely appreciate having more functionalities than what they get out of the box. I'll see you guys in the next video.